Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game, man. All right, man. Um, shout out to my nigga Yuckmouth, man. You know, from the 65 Ville. 65 Ville to the Dubs, motherfucker. Oakland in the building. You know, um, Yuckmouth pretty much let, you know, Floyd Habit, you know, and Kodak Black. You know, I, I want to get to Kodak Black. You know, Kodak Black is a dumbass, illiterate ass nigga, man. I mean, this dude, everything that, that come out of his mouth is just stupidity, man. This dude is the epitome of black, young stupidity. Just an ignorant ass nigga. You know, first of all, he issued some kind of statement. You barely could understand what the dumb ass nigga was talking about. I'm I, I, I still like Gucci because the, 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 I, I'm cool with white people because the white people, people is just a damn, it, 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 it's just a sweater. Like, nah, 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 bitch nigga. It's much more than a sweater, motherfucker. It was basically symbolizing racism, dude, and depression, dude. And see, that's the problem, niggas that think like you. You guys are cowards. You know, when you black ass niggas and you bitches get on here, I don't see what the big deal is because you motherfuckers is ignorant. Do your research, motherfucker. You got a phone that you always IGing on, getting on Instagram and all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Do your research, Twitter, all that type of shit. When I hear somebody say y'all being too emotional and y'all too sensitive and y'all, you know what I'm saying? First of all, if you ain't black, shut the fuck up. Stay out our mix, motherfucker. You ain't got no place in this. This ain't your fight. Remember, you don't help us anyway, so stay the fuck out our mix. Don't comment on no black issues. Real talk. Now, let me get to Kodak Black. This dude say, why ain't y'all going to kill the KKK? What do the KKK have to do with um, Gucci disrespecting black people in general? First of all, as far as that go, you, I can't even respond to that type of video because it'll get flagged. No, let me ask you rapper something. Why don't you motherfuckers talk about killing the KKK like you talk about killing black people on your records? Y'all love to talk about how y'all go kill black people. Y'all love to talk about how y'all gonna slap a black lady. Y'all love to talk about that. But y'all don't talk about how y'all gonna fight against white supremacy. I don't hear y'all saying that I blast a skinhead. See, y'all don't have a, a Scary X mentality. And that's why I love High Tonight by Scary X. Y'all check that song out. One of the greatest songs in history of hip hop. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, you know, if you're from the Bay, you know what time it is with Ricky Murdoch, a.k.a. Ascari X from the Seven Deuce, East Oakland, motherfucker. Now! But getting back to Kodak Black, man, it make you wonder where the fuck this dude's daddy is and who in the hell raised him. See, this is the thing. As black people, we do have to educate our kids on history and shit because I'm educating my son slowly on history. I had to get him prepped for this shit because I can't throw everything at him at once. But I let him slowly but surely see as an adult. And then I give him my perspective of the situation. But Kodak Black, it is scary how ignorant and stupid this dude is. And I hate to call a black man stupid. But he is be, uh, he, he is stupid. And I think he, and, and to be honest with you, I think he is kind of slow also. Now, keep in mind, this is the same dude that went in on, on dark skinned black women and all that type of shit. Look, if you a black dude that like light skinned women, hey man, that's fine with me. But you don't have to put them down. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had a preference. Some people have a type of black they like. They don't date outside they race, but they have a type of, some dudes say, hey, I only like dark skinned women. Some dudes like, hey, I only like light skinned women. But I would never bash light skinned or dark skinned black women. Cause me, myself, I love them both. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. But you know, he Kodak Black got a history of saying stupid shit. And then people defend the shit and see, you cowards, you guys try to change dialogue and shit to keep y'all from getting ripped apart. You'll try to say, oh, y'all all in y'all feelings. Oh, y'all too sensitive, y'all too emotional. That's what you call bitch boy internet talk. You supposed to have emotion because you a human being. If you don't have human emotion, you a robot. Are you not human? Are you not from this planet? 
either or. But, you know, it's easy to debunk that internet talk. That shit don't bother me when somebody say you all up in your feelings and all that shit because you're going to be all up in the left hook or all up to, in a kick to the throat if you keep disrespecting me. That shit don't work on me. That shit don't make me fall back. That just show me that you a mark when you talk constantly talk like that. Like a lot of these sneaker niggas and shit. When somebody, they talk shit, but then when somebody eat through they ass, they feel, oh, you all up in your feelings. No, you just a mark. When you challenge them to a one-on-one, then they, oh, you all up in your feelings. Yeah, that's their way. You know, that was, that's internet talk that a lot of the uh, mouse pad mobsters made up to basically talk their way out of a fade. Try to make you feel guilty about wanting to whoop their motherfucking ass. And that shit don't work on me. It's the same as on those old school Bugs Bunny uh, cartoons when they say, you wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? Shit. Knock them motherfuckers off. Now, like I said, Kodak Black is, is, is a silly nigga, man. I don't want to call him a silly, crispy ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to call him a silly black ass nigga. But at the end of the day, he a silly ass nigga. You know, he real silly and he mentally weak. You know what I'm saying? He is mentally weak. Like I said, uh, you barely can understand what the dumbass nigga is talking about, man. But I'm <laughs> guys like him, like I said, they are a threat to the community because of their ignorance. Because there's people that's going to listen to that shit and think it's cool. When you ignore being disrespected by another group of people and you don't speak up, that opens up the gate for them to disrespect you even more. Because a lot of times black people fall for that. Oh, you shouldn't respond. You should turn the other cheek and all that type of shit. Nah, when somebody disrespect you, you supposed to check their ass. And like I say, they only pull that shit on black people. Because a lot of times they know guys like Kodak Black and Floyd Mayweather is going to, you know, jump to their aid. And like I said, as far as Floyd Mayweather go, Floyd Mayweather, like I said, he's just a sad individual. You know? So, Kodak Black, real talk, man. Have a tall glass of shut the fuck up, man. Sit your dumb ass down, dude. Grab a book or shit. No, you, no, you probably can't read that good. Take out your phone and type up history of blackface. And I, I noticed, uh, and I'm gonna I'm have a whole video on blackface, how I noticed that a lot, of, a lot of black people is trying to dumb that down and trying to make it look like it ain't a big deal. Cause Cory Booker, I'm finna get on your bitch ass too. You next motherfucker. Anyway, I'm out.